Cinnabuns! Welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things funny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabun's Bun Mom, and today's video is going to be so helpful for any new bun moms out there. Today we are talking all about potty training, and not just how to potty train, but how to set up your litter box, how to handle accidents, all of the things. So buckle up, we are going to solve any potty problems that you might have. One of the biggest questions that I get when I tell people I have a bunny is, oh my gosh, how do you keep your bunny from pooping all over the place? Don't they pee everywhere? Where do they go to the bathroom? Aren't they super messy? And the answer to all of that is no. Bunnies are actually really easy to potty train if you know how to do it. Believe it or not, bunnies use litter boxes just like cats. So it's all about just teaching them how to go there. And once they know that's their spot, they're routine creatures and they're going to use their litter box. Now for your litter box, you're gonna want a large litter box. And I really suggest a hooded litter box because it keeps the mess inside, keeps any smell inside, and it's just easier to contain. I will link in the description all of the products that I'm mentioning here, including the litter box we use. But again, I recommend a large hooded litter box, one that they can do a full 360 degree turn in. Once you have your litter box, you need to line your litter box with something. Now I use puppy pads, you can use newspaper, some people use reusable puppy pads, it's up to you. I use biodegradable puppy pads in mine. Now a pro tip here is I use binder clips to attach the puppy pad to the litter box. That way when Cinnabon digs around in her litter box, it's not going to go anywhere. After your puppy pads, you're going to want to line one side of your litter box with bedding. I use paper bedding. I find it's the most natural. It absorbs her pee really well, and it's just a really good thing to use as your base. And you don't need a lot, just like three handfuls or so. This is just to absorb any pee that they have, just to keep that liquid sucked in. You're going to place your hay on the other side of the litter box. Now, another pro tip from me, I have recently converted to using a hay bag. This is not necessary. However, I was finding that Cinnabon was making such a mess. She would go in her litter box and dig, dig, dig. I was wasting a lot of hay. It was getting everywhere. So for my particular setup, what I've done is I bought a hamper on Amazon and I cut out one side so she can hop into it. I attached her hay bag on strings inside so it hangs over her litter box like so. That way she can eat her hay, but we don't waste as much. This is not necessary. For the longest time, I just put hay in her litter box with her. I just found that this was a little bit less wasteful and she was getting more hay. Now that you have your litter box made, where are you gonna put it? Now rabbits are really routine oriented creatures. They like to go to the bathroom in the same spot. So my big recommendation for you is to pay attention to where your bunny is having accidents at the beginning. So what I did with Cinnabon when I first got her is I had a large exercise pen set up and I put her litter box in the only real corner in that pen. That way she could automatically start to learn that corner was where she needed to be. And there was just a small space for her to operate in for having accidents. Instead of opening the whole home up to her and just being like, okay, potty train yourself. We worked for a few days on her learning to use the litter box in the smaller space. And then I would slowly open up the space to her. Now let's talk about how to actually get them to use that litter box. Like I mentioned, I had an exercise pin at the beginning and I think this is the best way to start with that potty training. When I brought her home, she was really young. She was only eight weeks old. So it was a good way just to introduce her to the concept as a whole. Anytime your bunny has an accident, clean it up immediately. Take a paper towel, pick up that poop, put it in the litter box. Take a paper towel, clean up the pee, put it in the litter box and then deodorize the space that they use the restroom. You wanna remove any scent from where they had their accident so that the only scent that they're gonna pick up on is what's in their litter box. Now again, if you're noticing that your bunny is just constantly going to the restroom in the same place and not using the litter box, just move your litter box to where they've been going. Clearly they've marked that as their territory and a lot of times working with bunnies isn't working against them. You have to compromise and work together. So if this is what's gonna help become potty trained, you can move your litter box. And then once they're fully trained, maybe you can start transitioning your litter box back to where you wanted it originally. But in those beginning stages, really focus on what your bunny is doing and their habits and try to adapt to those. Once you feel fairly confident that your bunny is picking up on their litter training, you can open up your pen more for more free roaming time and just pay close attention to them. If you ever see them beginning to have an accident, pick them up right away and plop them in their litter box. That immediate punishment is what's going to help reiterate this is where you go to the restroom. But note that this technique only works if you catch them in the act. If you find poop or pee like 10, 20 minutes later, they're not really going to understand why you're picking them up and putting them in their litter box. You have to act quickly. So if you find an accident later, again, clean it up, plop that in the litter box and deodorize the space. This might seem like kind of tedious work, but I promise you bunnies are really routine oriented, they are going to pick up on this quickly. It took Cinnabon just about a week to become potty trained. She would have a few accidents here and there, but for the most part, it was a quick 
process. So I was able to take those training gates down within a week of owning her. Every single bunny is different, remember this. So just because it worked for Cinnabon right away doesn't mean it'll work for your bunny, but know that it's not a super hard process. Now we're gonna talk about accidents, bunny accidents. So even the best litter trained bunnies have accidents here and there, and a lot of times these accidents happen before they get spayed. Bunnies are hormonal creatures, and with hormones comes territorial markings. And when I say territorial markings, I mean using the restroom. I call them accidents, but really that's a territorial marking. If you have a bunny who has been using its litter box really consistently and then suddenly starts using the restroom elsewhere, that's usually a sign of their hormones flaring up. Now these hormones can come from just them aging and turning into a teenager. It can come from a change in their environment. It can come from having a new animal added to the house. Really anything can kind of set off those hormones, but it's good to be aware of what that change was, even if it's just the change of their age. If you see this regression, do not panic. It's very normal. Just keep up those normal potty training habits, bring it back to what you did before of picking up their poop, putting it in their litter box, reminding them that this is not okay. And then know that once you get your bunny fixed, these problems are going to go away. The best thing you can do in this situation is to spay and neuter your rabbit. Spaying and neutering, along with helping with a lot of health benefits, it really removes those hormonal instincts. So once your bunny is spayed and neutered, those desires to mark their territory are going to really be diminished. Now again, a big change in their environment or like adding a new friend to the mix, that can make those changes come back again, but they're gonna be a lot more minimal. So my answer to those accidents is to keep working on those potty training habits, stay consistent with it, and make an appointment to get your bunny fixed when they're about six months of age. One last accident note that I wanna talk about is something that all bunny owners will know. There is a problem area in your home. It is your couch and your bed. Fabric absorbs scent, which means it absorbs your scent because I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time on my couch and in my bed. So that really smells like me. Your bunnies, especially young hormonal bunnies, are going to notice that scent and want to mark you as their territory. You can take it as a compliment. It means they love you and don't want any other bunnies to claim you, but it's really annoying to have your bunny having accidents on your couch and bed, the two hardest places to clean. So again, my number one tip here is to know that you need to get your bunny fixed to remove these instincts completely. Number two, deodorize the space. I know I said this is a normal potty training tip, but it's really important that you deodorize any fabric because it is so much harder to get that scent out of fabric. My third tip is to pay close attention to whenever your bunny is on the couch or on the bed. Watch them like a hawk because you'll be able to tell if they're about to use the restroom. If you look at your bunny's tail, their tail will lift up and that means they're about to pee scoop them up right there and plop them in their litter box. Let them know that that is not okay. And my last tip, again, this goes with working with your bunny, not against them block off the space. When I go to bed at night, I have a playpen that I put up in front of my couch. Between Cinnabon being tempted to chew on my leather couch and her having accidents when she was a baby, I just realized it was easier for me to block off the space entirely than to have to worry every night if she was gonna get into trouble. Sometimes the best way to train your bunny is to work with them. Recognize their habits. If you know that they're gonna do something, just tell them that they can't do it. I also have my bedroom as an off limit space so that Cinnabon during the normal day we keep the door closed and the only time she comes into the bedroom is when she's supervised okay so those are all of my tips on potty training please comment down below if you think there's anything i missed or if this was helpful again i have linked every single product that i talked about today in my description so you can have everything you need to potty train your bunny and just remember that bunnies are really really smart so if you give them the time and give them the patience that they need they will learn this and it is smooth sailing from there. So stick with it, stay patient. I know that your bunny can do it and best of luck in your potty training endeavors. With that being said, I will see you next Sunday. Bye buns.